so incredibly excited. I don't even know how to start this video. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. And we have some big, big news for the GT500. Boy, I, I don't even know what to say. Again, I'm just like, I am speechless of what this car has become. So a couple days ago, I dropped the car off to have some work done. I've been sitting on a JLT 123 millimeter cold air intake and I haven't put it on because obviously with these cars you put them on you need a tune. So I was going to have that done, took it to a local shop called Southern Stables. They are absolutely phenomenal shop. They know so much. It's mind blowing. And they don't just tune the car for peak horsepower. They tune it for drivability. They tune it for average horsepower. I mean, it's just what they do with cars is absolutely nothing short than of magic so i took it back to them because they did my nova when i had that and i absolutely was in love with the way they tuned it and how it drove so i was like you know what they did two other gt500 builds not too long ago and he said one of them made a little over 700 horsepower the other was over 800 horsepower so i'm like you know what take this one do your magic so i had them put on a jlt 123 millimeter that i've been sitting on absolutely this thing's massive i mean i know you can't tell from the camera but this thing is huge and we have a vmp 2.5 pulley with a steed attentioner i mean that tensioner is just pretty looking look at that thing nice billet aluminum that thing is gorgeous but the 2.5 pulley um I, need, I forgot to ask how much boost this thing is running, but I know it's like somewhere between if the gauge on the dash is accurate, but I don't know if it is or not, but if the gauge on the dash is accurate, it's probably somewhere between 13 and a half and 14 pounds of boost. Probably going more on a 13 and a half scale, but that's kind of hard to read when you're driving. So, but he did that with the tune and this thing's a beast. Um, wheel horsepower. 552 wheel horsepower and 559 pound feet of torque boy does this thing roll out i am mind blown with this thing this is nuts and the thing that makes this even more impressive is literally the only thing done to this is the cold air intake the pulley and the h pipe that's been on the car with the custom tune and 552 horsepower let me walk over here i actually had the dyno sheet here in the car so let's get this out right here here we go we're gonna look at this real quick here's what i'm talking about look at this the graph is insane but look right here the middle number this is the final number let me get a little closer so you see that 552 uh, it's a little fuzzy. I apologize. It is fuzzy. 552 horsepower, 559 pound-feet of torque. Uh, the red line is the final pull. The, the biggest horsepower number. Torque. I mean, it's instant. Right there. Like 1,600 RPMs. We're at almost 475 pound-feet of torque. And we're crossing over 500 pound-feet of torque at like 2,300 RPMs that's nuts and that torque curve carries all the way over i mean peak is right around 4,000, and just carries all the way over and doesn't fall off until what almost five but that's okay because that's where the horsepower picks up and carries and peaks out at 552. that is absolutely that's insane for just three mechanical bolt-ons all right guys i'm super excited about this little nervous not sure what to expect the gas pedal feels way softer like it's way more touchy um haven't even got into it yet don't know what to what to expect here 552 rear wheel horsepower and 559 pound feet of torque oh it's absolutely nuts so i'm actually going to leave a uh -oh, little bit of a tunnel there oh yeah yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave the traction control on for the first pull uh, to see what to, what's going to go on. I don't know. We're going to give it a whirl. So we're going to ease into the power. Oh, 
is just, it's snappy. I can feel it right away. Oh, oh it's snappy and that boost gauge jumps. The boost gauge jumps. Oh, I can already hear it whine more. I haven't even gotten into it yet. Alright, we're going to do a third gear roll on. Uh, third gear roll on about three grand and go. Woo! Wow! Wow, let me roll. Woo! Roll the windows up there. Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright, let's uh let's give it a little blip down so we got cool. Alright. So let's do a 3500 and a wonderful sound I love it I absolutely love it I can't get over this this is insane absolutely blown away right now this is nuts I am so glad that Brad over at Southern Stables uh, talked me into uh, pulling down because I originally wasn't gonna do it I was gonna wait till later but he convinced me you know I'm already doing the tune and must just get it all done in one shot and it makes sense I'm glad I did I'm going to give a big shout out to them. Southern Stables Garage. They put Southern Stables Speed on there. Obviously, that's their thing. But these guys kill it. If you're in the South Central PA area, definitely go check them out. They killed it. I could not be happier. But now we got it lowered. It's handling good. Which, oh, let me stop right there and talk about that. The handling on this car. With all this new power... I would think, especially with that kind of torque so low in the RPM range, that this would be an absolute pain to control as far as hooking up. But the power delivery is so smooth that I can go in a second gear roll and just smash it and it just hooks. It hooks and bucks, boy. Let me tell you, first gear is a different story. First gear is kind of like semi-worthless. Second gear... I haven't run from a dig, so I don't know once you bang in the second gear if it's gonna completely let loose. But I know from a second gear roll with about 3,500, 4,000 RPM, if you just lay into it, it just hooks and goes. There's no spin at all, which is quite surprising because I would thought. Okay, we gotta wait for the sirens. Okay, I think they're far enough away. So anyway, back to what I was saying, this thing hooks up really well. And I know I didn't do my uh, POV drive for the... Seriously? 
All right, apparently something serious is going on over there, so we're gonna have to work past the sirens. Anyway, I know I told you I was gonna do a POV drive of the whole suspension and how it handles, and I'm still gonna do that, um, but now we're also gonna talk about the, the newfound power under the hood as well. So you're definitely gonna have to uh, stay tuned because there's a lot of content coming on um with this car obviously we got to talk about the new suspension we got to talk you know see how that handles enough some back roads especially now that we have 552 wheel horsepower to deal with if you were watching previous videos you also know about that green and white coyote mustang i ran well guess what he's agreed to a rematch and i don't think dan sorry buddy it's gonna be a whole different ball game with this race this is I don't think he's going to stand much of a chance, but we're going to do it anyway as a comparison because that's what we do here on YouTube. We do comparisons and uh, you'll see real life how much of a difference that made. I mean, it was a neck and neck race last time. It was really a driver's race. Who got the jump? It was so close, but it's not going to be that close this time. All right, so I know there's a lot of back and forth with the videos. I do apologize for that, but thank you so much for tuning in. I can't wait to bring you more content with this car, show you how well this thing handles because I've only done some minimal backward driving, but I can tell immediately that this suspension setup is absolutely ridiculous. It handles so well, but yet drives better than stock. It's super comfortable. And then add on all this newfound power, and it's just, it's a beast. It is so incredible um like i said the the minimal mods done to this car and the power you can get out of these things it's absolutely ridiculous so don't forget to hit a like on this video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because you don't want to miss the upcoming videos and i'll catch you on the next upload